Have you been feeling sluggish? Maybe you're having difficulty losing weight. Have you wondered about your thyroid function? Maybe you've even had your blood work done for thyroid and everything is coming back nice and normal. Well, here are six early warning signs that your thyroid is in trouble and you may have an under-functioning thyroid. So this is the thyroid gland and hypothyroidism is very much under-diagnosed and often you'll get blood work back doctor says your thyroid, your TSH level is fine, yet you still have a lot of the symptoms and warning signs of that low thyroid. So let's go through them. So number one, that warning sign is that you have difficulty losing that weight. Despite your best efforts perhaps with your diet and your exercise routine, that weight just won't budge, this could be an indication of that low thyroid. Number two is sluggishness, especially first thing in the morning. Often when your thyroid function is compromised, you're not going to have that get up and go energy first thing in the morning. Number three as a sign for low thyroid is hair loss. So whether you're seeing that hair falling out in your brush, in the shower, throughout the day, it could also be your eyebrow hair. So the outer third of that eyebrow hair, that arch of the eyebrow could be, and you're noticing that you're having, especially ladies, you're having to pencil it in a little bit more. That can be related to your low thyroid. Number four on the list is cracked heels. So if you typically have very dry cracked heels, this can be another indication of hypothyroid. Number five is intolerance to cold. So you find that you are chilly a lot of the time, a cold draft, is really going to affect you in a negative way. You could also though have night sweats and this can be another indication of low thyroid function. And number six is low mood, feeling anxious, having a lot of negative thoughts, even depression can be related to that low thyroid. So definitely it's something to get checked. And my tip here is to always ask for the full thyroid panel, including the reverse T3. And this will give you a lot more information than just that TSH in your blood work and then reverse T3 will give some information as to maybe having leptin resistance so if you don't know what that is make sure you check out my other videos on leptin resistance to really get at the root cause as to why maybe your thyroid is out of balance in the first place the other thing that you can do is definitely support that thyroid gland with the nutrients that it needs so some of those nutrients include and I love iodine because the thyroid needs iodine to make its active thyroid thyroid hormones, as well as L-tyrosine, which is an amino acid, which is really important for thyroid function. And my favorite herbal medicine to support the thyroid gland is ashwagandha. Now ashwagandha is known as an adaptogenic herbal medicine. It helps with stress, with cortisol, but actively supports your thyroid function as well. For a list of what foods to avoid and what foods can actually help with hypothyroidism, please check out my video, Hypothyroid Diet, Foods to Eat, Foods to avoid. I'll see you there.